and uh, you know uh, this uh, these are visuals that we are playing out for you on your screens from the mumbai uh, shivaji uh, chhatrapati airport uh, international airport uh, at mumbai uh, where mm, i'm told that this uh, flight uh, uh, you know the, the the indians who are on that flight um, uh, traveling from bucharest carrying uh, 219 indian evacuees um, it has uh, already arrived in mumbai and uh, it's landed in mumbai and uh, you know these are uh, we've put our cameras right at the entrance of this corridor which has been established so um, you know after going through the mandatory uh, uh, rt pcr tests and following the covid protocols for incoming international passengers these passengers uh, who have traveled on these uh, on this flight will be exiting uh, through this gate where we put up this camera and uh, uh, we uh, will be uh, bringing you live visuals and uh, we'll try and see if our reporter uh, on ground uh, can speak to some of uh, those who are uh, coming uh, to um, India from Ukraine and we can get a better sense uh, from uh, them on uh, uh, what the situation on the ground is. Uh, how the evacuation process uh, is being handled by the Indian embassy officials uh, there uh, who are working around the clock. Um, uh, uh, you know, what more needs to be done, uh, how uh, their uh, fellow classmates or, uh, you know, people they know who are stuck back in Ukraine uh, are. So, we will be bringing uh, these uh, lies, uh, live images. In fact, we are putting out these live images uh, f for you uh, just that uh, we are waiting uh, for uh, the 219 odd passengers who have traveled on this flight uh, back to India uh, to come out. Uh, this flight has already landed in Mumbai um, you know these uh, after going through their medical tests and the necessary uh, um, uh, co following COVID protocols these uh, evacuees or the students who have come on this flight shall be exiting uh, through uh, this gate. We will be uh, getting you all that. Ramesh, uh, if you are still with me, uh, you know, uh, uh, we were talking about the humanitarian aspect to, to the crisis. Uh, so, how do you feel this will play out in the coming days? Well, uh, in any conflict situation, Amrits, the uh, collateral damage in terms of internal displacement, refugees, loss of lives, loss of civilian lives, at that uh, uh, has, you know, does occur, and it won't be different in this case as well, one fears, uh, as uh, Russia, you know, closing in on uh, the capital, Kiev. But talking about the humanitarian uh, dimension of a conflict and this particular conflict in particular, as uh, we've been reporting, you know, images and visuals of people spending nights on end uh, in uh, the underground metros or subway stations. Remember, many of these uh, bunkers and uh, were built during the Soviet era, and incidentally and ironically, they were built to protect uh, people from an American invasion, and today mm. those same places are being used to uh, protect people from a possible missile strike or airstrike from the Russian side. Anyway, mm. that's that's history uh, mm. for our viewers. But talking about the challenge posed by humanitarian uh, uh, issues, uh, Amrit, yes, it no doubt requires uh, required a lot of thought and effort on the part of governments, including foreign governments, India in particular, to take care of the welfare of their personnel, their uh, national living uh, in Ukraine. A control room has been set up by the Indian Foreign Ministry to coordinate the efforts uh, and providing correct, authentic, credible information to the people concerned, uh, taking care of their well-being. Even as we speak, uh, as we sh saw in those visuals, the students being, uh, you know, being onboarded on a special flight to Mumbai, they were taken care of uh, in food, refreshments, water, their well-being, medicines if required, all needs to be taken care of. And many of them have told uh, DD India in particular that uh, it is indeed the case that the government and authorities concerned have taken proper care of them uh, and ensure that they are evacuated uh, to safety at the earliest possible time. 
uh, at the same time as we've been seeing uh, roads uh, you know cars and you know uh, have been backed up on on the roads in in, in ukraine uh, of kilometers on and all you know moving in a westerly direction towards poland we are given to understand as uh, ukrainians those who could have have already left uh, and those who can are still trying to make their way out of kiev and other other cities to uh, safer places across the border in poland for instance uh, at the same time a uh, ukrainian uh, government and the presidency saying that uh, things uh, are still very much calm and that they need not panic and that the armed forces are putting up a resistance to the russian advance so uh, as things stand now as we speak uh, india is bringing back more indian nationals from uh, ukraine via via poland in this case and uh, many more no, via romania in this case sorry via romania to mumbai in this case and many more still remain to be evacuated in the next uh, for the next several days hmm uh, absolutely uh, flights tonight later tonight and uh, in the wee hours of tomorrow morning will be uh, uh, bringing more uh, evacuees from uh, uh, budapest uh, that's hungary's capital so uh, uh, batches of students of indian nationals have crossed over from uh, the ukrainian side into romania into uh, hungary uh, at the moment and uh, our embassy from slovakia uh, and uh, warsaw in uh, poland is also working and setting up uh, more camp offices so that uh, you know more and more students um, uh, can be uh, uh evacuated and they can cross over through the land border uh ramesh one particular challenge that our embassies is facing is the safe exit through land routes because airspace is controlled is closed now uh you know they'll have to travel from whatever city they are to uh the western border whichever country is nearer Uh, you know the out of the countries we named hungary poland slovakia uh, romania um so they'll have to travel there to to that place uh the, sometime uh, you know yesterday uh, when the foreign secretary was briefing he was saying that we are trying to set up working with the local authorities to set up uh, exit routes now if you know there is chaos now these are live visuals of the students who have now um, you know we can see these students they are part of the batch of 219 students uh, who have been brought back uh, from uh, uh, bucharest uh, they are basically brought back from ukraine most of them medical students uh, they have come from various cities of um, ukraine where they were studying they were taken uh, by the land uh, through the land route uh, to bucharest the capital of romania and um, uh, then uh, they were put on this a uh, special flight which uh, landed some time back in mumbai and we can see these students now uh, reaching uh, uh, india uh, they are right now inside the airport this particular lobby has been made for them uh, so they'll da- get their immigration etc done and um, you know uh, uh, their eager parents uh, or relatives or friends would be waiting outside them understandably they Uh, were concerned about their safety security well being um, and and they would be happy that their wards have uh, come back home um uh, ramesh we were talking about the challenge now one particular challenge is ensuring a safe road route and you know in such a chaotic situation where there are various militia on ground you know you don't know whether that particular pocket is still with the ukrainian military or security forces has it fallen to the russians is it uh, uh, you know uh, uh, in a state where neither control and it's they are descended into chaos or some local militia has taken control of it we can see piyush goel the uh, commerce and industry minister uh, reaching uh, the mumbai airport uh, to talk to the students and receive them uh, there बॉर्डर्स 
So this young boy is saying, asking Pius yes. Goel that can I take a selfie with you? Pius Goel asking him how it works. Oh, would you like to speak your... Yes, I would definitely like to speak your... Silver, silver. Uh, you are back here and you are received by another than uh, minister himself. Yes. How do you feel after returning back to your motherland? Uh, like uh, there was many rumors. Like the people were very much panicked. Like in Kharki area, it is very difficult. I am from Chennai Bukomanian State Medical University. So I had that trust in my Indian Indian government. That Indian government will definitely bring us all home. So Indian government में तो हम शक कर ही नहीं सकते क्योंकि विदेश में जो है वो घर तो जरूर आएगा तो हमें डर तो जरूर बिल्कुल नहीं था हाँ एक सुबह जब खारकी पे बम फटे तो हमें था कि यार अब क्या होगा हम वापस कैसे आएंगे लेकिन हमें था कि हमारी सरकार कुछ ना कुछ तो कर ही लेगी यार हम भारत से हम कभी ना कभी मतलब वापस तो जरूर आएंगे तो हाँ डर का माहौल था कुछ न्यूज पे कुछ कभी कभी लोग पैनिक कर जा रहे थे उसमें क्या कोई गलती नहीं है क्योंकि भगदड़ जैसी सिचुएशन हो चुकी थी लेकिन सब बहुत अच्छा था बहुत रिलैक्स दिख रहे थे आपने को थैंक यू किया उनके साथ सेल्फी ली व्हाट वाज दैट फीलिंग बहुत अच्छी फीलिंग है कि सर हमारे लिए टाइम दे रहे हैं और हम हमको रेस्क्यू कराने के लिए इतना बड़ा स्टेप लिया सर ने तो मेरे लिए तो बहुत बड़ी बात है ये चीज कि सर आए हमें रेस्क्यू किया और हम हम तो साधारण नागरिक है अब सर आए हमको रेस्क्यू किया बहुत अच्छा लगा धन्यवाद So these are visuals of Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal reaching the Chhatrapati International Airport. Uh, I'm also uh, I can uh, see uh, Yogesh Sheetal, uh, my correspondent. Uh, Yogesh. Grateful to the. <laughs> एम्बेसी ऑफ इंडिया और हम बहुत खुश हैं कि बहुत जल्दी और हर एक सुविधा के साथ हम वापस आए हैं इसका पूरा श्रेय हमारा इंडियन गवर्नमेंट मोदी जी और हमारा एंड आर इंडियन एम्बेसी इन सबको जाता है सारे मिनिस्टर सब लोगों ने जो मिल के काम किया है और इतना फास्ट प्रोसेस हुआ है कि हमको जल्द से जल्द निकाला है बाहर आई एम वेरी प्राउड कि हम फर्स्ट बैच हैं जो इतने अच्छे से और मिलजुल के सब लोग एक फैमिली की तरह आए हैं और एयर इंडिया ऑल्सो हैड अ वेरी गुड सर्विस हमें सब कुछ कुछ कमी होने नहीं दी हर चीज़ में हमारे साथ थे और हर एक हमारे हर एक परेशानी में एक फैमिली मेंबर की तरह हमारे साथ थे वहाँ पे जो आपके साथ फ्लाइट में आए हैं uh, हम तो हमें एम्बेसी की तरफ से लिस्ट प्रोवाइड की गई थी तो हम दो लिस्ट ऐसे दो बैचेस में थे 240 240 स्टूडेंट्स तो अभी एक बैच आ गई है एक और फ्लाइट दिल्ली में लैंड होगी सुन शाम तक तो वी आर वेरी हैप्पी और हम होप कर रहे हैं आई एम श्योर कि हमारी गवर्नमेंट मेरे बाकी जो कलीग्स वहाँ पे हैं और 400 प्लस स्टूडेंट्स हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी में चरनिफसी में उनको जल्द से जल्द निकालेंगे ऑल्सो मेरी बहुत हमदर्दी है हमारी खारकिव और कीव के स्टूडेंट्स की इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स जो वहाँ पे बहुत बुरी हालत में है मैं इंडियन गवर्नमेंट से रिक्वेस्ट करती हूँ कि उनको भी जल्द से जल्द बाहर निकालें एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी वेट and i i can i can understand the emotions in fact the emotions floating here at the airport uh, you know number of the students who are stuck they are in uh, sir ek uh, relax aapke face pe bhi hai students are wo to definitely relax rahe hain thank you kar rahe hain aapko logon ne selfie bhi li humne dekha hai to ek bahut namak ka tha us jagah se logon ko nikal ke safe leke aana kaisa feel jab se ye crisis shuru hua manne pradhan mantri narendra modi ji lagatar चिंता में थे कैसे हमारे सब भाई बहन हमारे बच्चे हमारे नागरिक सुरक्षित देश में जल्द से जल्द वापस आ सके हमें निरंतर हमारे फॉरेन मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर जयशंकर संपर्क साधे हुए थे सभी देशों के साथ रशिया यूक्रेन और आसपास के सभी देश सबके साथ उनकी बातचीत चल रही थी और पूरे रूट्स बनाए गए सभी स्थानों पे हमारे एम्बेसी के ऑफिशियल्स पहुंचे हेल्पलाइन एकदम एक्टिवली काम करी और संतोष की बात है कि सुरक्षित आज हमारे 219 बच्चे भाई बहन साधारणतः सभी स्टूडेंट्स हैं अधिकांश बेटियां हैं वो सब सुरक्षित आई हैं प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने मुझे विशेष मुंबई भेजा कि मैं इनका स्वागत करूँ इनकी देख करूँ आपने देखा होगा सब अरेंजमेंट्स किए हुए हैं इमिग्रेशन पे बहुत सरल तरीके से करके उनके बैग्स देके उनको अपने गंतव्य स्थान पर भेजा जा रहा है हमारे लिए तो इतनी संतुष्टि है कि ये पहला बैच अब पहुंचा है दूसरा बैच भी जल्दी दिल्ली पहुंच जाएगा और अब ये लगातार निरंतर प्रयास रहेगा कि जल्द से जल्द सबको लौटाया जाए जब तक सबके सब वापस नहीं आ जाते पूरी केंद्र सरकार तट पर रहेगी प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी स्वयं इस पूरे कार्यक्रम को 
मॉनिटर कर रहे हैं उस पर नियंत्रण रखे हुए हैं डॉक्टर जयशंकर दिन रात उनके अधिकारियों के साथ संपर्क बनाए हुए हैं विदेश के मंत्रियों के साथ संपर्क बनाए हुए हैं हम प्रतिबद्ध हैं कि भारत का हर नागरिक सुरक्षित भारत वापस लौटे सर जो लोग आ गए हैं उनके परिवार वाले आश्वस्त हैं लेकिन जिनके परिवार के लोग अभी भी वहाँ हैं उनको चिंता है सरकार कह रही है लेकिन चिंता उन्हें कैसे आश्वस्त करना चाहेंगे मैं ये बताना चाहूँगा कि हमने हर संभव प्रयास किया माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने दोनों नेताओं से भी बात की है रशियन प्रेजिडेंट यूक्रेन के प्रेजिडेंट से आस के सभी देशों के बॉर्डर्स पर हमारे एम्बेसी के ऑफिशियल्स हैं लड़कों को बॉर्डर तक लाने के लिए यूक्रेन में भी इंतजाम किए जा रहे हैं कोशिश की जा रही है और जैसे ही बॉर्डर पे आते हैं तो हमारे अधिकारी उनके देखरेख में लग जाते हैं उनको हवाई अड्डे पे लाके भारत से इवैक्यूएशन के लिए प्लेन्स भेजे जा रहे हैं मैं आपके माध्यम से सभी बच्चों को सभी भारत के नागरिकों को जो वहाँ पर हैं ये संदेशा जरूर देना चाहूँगा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी मान्य डॉक्टर जयशंकर विदेश मंत्री और सभी अधिकारीगण इस काम पर निरंतर 2400 घंटे लगे हैं हम जब तक सभी भारत के नागरिक वापस सुरक्षित नहीं आ जाए हमारे प्रयास पूरी तरीके से रहेंगे किसी ने चिंता नहीं करनी है जो इंस्ट्रक्शंस कंट्रोल रूम के माध्यम से उनको मिलते हैं उसको अवश्य फॉलो करें सर एक आउटपोर ऑफ इमोशन हमने देखा लोग जब आ रहे हैं तो बहुत खुश हैं कुछ के आंखों में हमने आंसू भी देखे और कुछ लोग अब तक आए उन्होंने आपको पर्सनली थैंक यू किया सेल्फी निकालने के लिए भी वो जिद कर रहे थे तो ये जो आउटपोर ऑफ इमोशन है इसको आप कैसे देख रहे हैं स्वाभाविक है अपने मातृभूमि में जब वापस लौटता है व्यक्ति खासतौर पर इतने कठिन परिस्थितियों से ये बच्चों ने भी काफ़ी कश्मकश की यूक्रेन से निकले बुकरेस तक आए फिर तो उसके बाद तो अधिकारियों ने देख रेख करी लेकिन वो भी एक काफ़ी कठिन समय रहा होगा आ, मेरा मानना है कि जो हौसला इन बच्चों ने आज दिखाया ये दर्शाते हैं सही बारे में भारत की ताकत भारत की एकता और पूरे भारत का आत्मविश्वास और हमारे भारत के नागरिकों का प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के प्रति जो कॉन्फिडेंस है जो उनके मन में है कि प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी हैं तो हम सुरक्षित हैं वो हमें जरूर संभालेंगे और आपने देखा सबका लगभग वही मैसेज था सबके बच्चों में जो कॉन्फिडेंस था कि हमें पूरा विश्वास है कि मोदी जी हैं हम सबको सुरक्षित लेके आएंगे सेफ्टी is this government's first and foremost priority all through the last uh, two or three days prime minister modi has been continuously in touch with all the officials dr jay shankar foreign minister has been uh, in continuous contact with the leaders of all the states of course ukraine and russia and along with that all the border states he has maintained uh, contact with them he has earlier been in that region so he has very good personal relations Prime Minister Modi's relations with all the world leaders is very well known to all of us, and they have used every resource at their command to ensure the safe return of all our children. The first flight has just come in. Second flight is expected in Delhi by tomorrow morning. Uh, we are working to get our children to the borders. The Indian embassy officials are taking them over from the border, taking them to the airports from the nearby countries. and indian planes are being sent to uh, various countries to budapest bucharest all the uh, cities and being brought back to india i would like to assure the nation and assure all the children and indian nationals who are still there that this government led by prime minister modi is committed to ensure the safe return of every uh, citizen of india i must also compliment our wonderful crew of air india who has done a remarkable job a humongous task they have always been there whenever needed they, i i i i i don't think words are enough to express our gratitude to all of them thank you so much man thank you very very grateful to you. all our stars 
and we are the whole nation is proud of all of you. Thank you. Wish you all the best and God bless you. Long life to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. All are just outstanding. Compliments. Captain. Captain. Thank you. Really proud of all you and your team. She's the leader. Please, please, please. 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 Please, Okay. 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 I'm. My name is Sonali Mukherjee. I'm leading the team today. I have a wonderful team here. We have come here, and we are elated, and we find ourselves uh, absolutely, what do you, lucky to be here and to bring the kids home, because uh, they deserve to be home, and uh, they will reunite with their parents and uh, family. We are very happy to bring them home. And uh, we got this opportunity. So, thank you, thank you all. Thanks to the government of India. The whole nation is grateful for you. Air India is always stood by. How were the students in the class? How were they emotional? Because they were out there. They were clapping once they, once we landed. They were clapping. They were very happy and uh, relieved. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless all of you. Prime Minister Modi has actually sent me to thank all of you for the wonderful work. Oh, that's great. That's the message for you. They are saying we'll do it again. And that's the spirit of uh, oneness, of Indianness that I think we all reflect. And the kids were so overjoyed and absolutely, I think that, that's, that's the greatest satisfaction that any of us can get. Oh yes. Yes. Like a magic yes. 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 All of you, God bless all of you with a lot of happiness and a lot of good wishes of the entire nation. Thank you. Bye bye. Captain sir. Go back home. Please reassure all your are in Gipri not to worry. Be patient. Today, the Honorable Prime Minister spoke to the Ukrainian President also and requested him to keep all Indians safe and secure, to provide safe passage to all your colleagues who are still there. Uh, the Russians have also promised to help evacuate all our Indian nationals. So, I would urge all of you. Be very strong and give that strength to all your other friends who are still in Ukraine. Another flight will be coming into Delhi shortly by the morning and this process will continue. I must thank the Air India crew and the entire Air India team. And that is what the true spirit of nationalism is. यही भारत की ताकत है और इसी ताकत को हमको उन सब बच्चों को को देना है जो अभी वहाँ पे हैं पर आप सब का तहे दिल से प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की तरफ से बहुत बहुत स्वागत आप सब सुरक्षित हैं हम उसके लिए भगवान से धन्यवाद करते हैं और यहाँ भी आप इस सब सुविधाओं के इंतजाम किया गया आपको किसी प्रकार का को Welcome back to the motherland. And as you go back home, 
please reassure all your who are in Ukraine not to worry. Be patient. Today, the Honorable Prime Minister spoke to the Ukrainian President also and requested him to keep all Indians safe and secure, to provide safe passage to all your colleagues who are still there. Uh, the Russians have also promised to help evacuate all our Indian nationals. So I would urge all of you, be very strong and give that strength to all your other friends who are still in Ukraine. Another flight will be coming into Delhi shortly by the morning and this process will continue. I must thank the Air India crew and the entire Air India crew. That is what the true spirit of nationalism is. यही भारत की ताकत है और इसी ताकत को हमको उन सब बच्चों को को देना है जो अभी वहाँ पे हैं। पर आप सब का तहे दिल से प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की तरफ से बहुत बहुत स्वागत। आप सब सुरक्षित हैं। हम उसके लिए भगवान से धन्यवाद करते हैं और यहाँ भी आप इस सब सुविधाओं के इंतजाम किया गया है। आपको किसी प्रकार का कोई कष्ट नहीं होगा। Welcome back to the motherland. the motherland that's what uh, commerce and industry minister there was reassuring this 219 first batch of uh, Indian specially students who have arrived in India now in Mumbai now Yogesh Sheetal our correspondent joins us from Mumbai Yogesh Yogesh yes uh, I believe you are with uh, the students there tell us the mood and the spirit of the evacuees This is definitely we can see the celebration kind of uh, moment we are witnessing here at the T2 terminal international airport uh, uh, at Mumbai and definitely before I say anything I would like to uh, directly connect to some youngsters, some uh, people who have just arrived here. Aap bataiye, aapka naam kya hai aur kaha se hai aap yaha pe aur fir abhi aage ka kya plan hai aur kaisa experience raha hai? Mera naam Shubham hai, mein Haryana se hoon. Okay. Aur uh, question? पहले कभी इस तरह का वहाँ पे जिस तरीके का अभी वहाँ पे एक्सपीरियंस रहा ऐसा कभी पहले देखा था आपने नहीं नहीं आई एम फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट सो आई एम आपको कब पता चला कि स्थिति जो है वो खराब हो गई है और मैं रशिया ने अटैक अचानक से किया था पहले कोई आइडिया नहीं था तो उसके बाद में जैसे ही वो हुआ था उस दिन तो उसके बाद उसी टाइम हमें शाम को इनफॉरमेशन मिली थी कि तुम्हें कल ही इवैक्यूएट करेंगे तो उस प्रोसेस के लिए रेडी रहना तो हमने बैग बैग पैक कर लिया था एंड लिस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग नाम आ रहे हैं तो उस हिसाब से इवेक्यूएट किया जा रहा है स्लोट के अंदर तो ये जो कम्युनिकेशन हुआ इवेक्यूएशन का ये आपको कहाँ एम्बेसी की तरफ से आया था नहीं जो एमडी हाउस कंसल्टेंसी है उनके थ्रू हमारे डायरेक्ट लिंक के अंदर यस एडवाइजरी पूरी इंडियन एम्बेसी के थ्रू ही आई है यस 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 तो जो आप आई तो फिर उसका टिकट वगैरह फिर कैसे हुआ वो पूरा इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इंडियन एम्बेसी ने पे किया है Yes, yes, expenditure, yes, total expenses, yes, yes. ठीक है मैं चाहूँगा कुछ और जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनसे बात करूँ आप बताइए आप वहाँ पे किस चीज़ की पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं जी I am studying MBBS there and I am second year student and I am from Rishikesh Uttarakhand and there is firstly there is very normal situation and there is means every student think that there is no no problem such as attack or whatever so we are still there only and no tickets were booked yet but suddenly the bombs were bombarded in Kiev and Kharkiv and it's very serious condition is got to be so then embassy booked our tickets and all and we evacuate. How was the experience of the entire process? Just talking precisely from the communication from that side, embassy side, and uh, how was very sudden, very sudden. Means we are shocked and uh, we are just literally uh, gathers our uh, essentials and uh, we ran ran away literally. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the book buses are booked too, and uh, we just sat. We go to uh, Romania border. We spend uh, approx two three hours there. Then the buses from Romania come. We sat oh, sat in that, and uh, the further we go to Romania airport. How many students were there? Uh, mm -hmm. So all all the students. Uh, no, uh, we've come uh, in slots. First uh, one for two forty slot two. Uh, 
240 student slot then second slot uh, is coming then third slot is uh, uh, preparing so you are sure that the government of india will take care of everything? yeah yeah you are confident? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these students are in fact very confident that the government of India will be taking care of everything, the situations uh, and definitely the, with the help of MSC and the MES. Uh, excuse me, if you like to make some comments on how the things were unfolding um, Maybe it will take a little time but I hope everything will be Because uh, these things affect student life affect so, we want to make sure that the matter will be removed from the matter. How did the family react when the family knew that the situation was bad? How did the family have the communication with the family? And how did they boost up the situation? Obviously, the family was very panicked. But, as it was our side, it was a safer side. So, our university gave us our whole support. And they gave us the whole support of our parents. They gave us the whole security. तो हमारे पेरेंट्स उस उस चीज को सुनकर उनको थोड़ा रिलीफ हुआ और इंडियन एम्बेसी ने जो हमारा साथ दिया है उस चीज को लेकर भी पेरेंट्स बहुत खुश हैं कुछ बताना चाहेंगे किस तरीके का कुछ कुछ अगर यादें आप शेयर कर सके किस तरीके से क्योंकि कई सारी टेक्निकल चीजें आती हैं जब इस तरीके का पैनिक का सिचुएशन होता है एम्बेसी के ऑफिसर का क्या बिहेवियर कैसा रिएक्शंस रहा जब आप सबका बिहेवियर बहुत सपोर्टिव था हाँ मेन थिंग ये है कि सबने बहुत साथ दिया हमको सबसे हमको कंफर्ट फील कराया ऐसा नहीं था कि कि ऐसे था कि जल्दबाजी में कुछ भी हमको बहुत ज़्यादा ऐसे काम था सब कुछ ऐसा कुछ नहीं था तो कई लास्ट मोमेंट पे ऐसा भी रहता है कैश की दिक्कत आती है क्योंकि सिचुएशन थोड़ा एडवर्स रहता है तो कैश उस वक्त नहीं रहता है तो आप लोगों ने क्योंकि आप लोग वहाँ पे स्टूडेंट्स थे तो कैसे मैनेज किया पैसे कैश का भी कोई दिक्कत नहीं था ऐसे यूनिवर्सिटी ने पूरा बोला था कि आप लोगों को कोई फिक्र करने की जरूरत नहीं है आ, सब कुछ फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट होगा तो, फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट होप सो ये चीज जल्दी खत्म हो जाएगी तो हम फिर वापस जाएंगे ऐसा ऐसा मैं उम्मीद करती हूँ पंजाब पंजाब से ओके तो ये छात्र जो है वो पंजाब से आप अगर बताना चाहिए कैसे बिहार से हैं वैसे हाँ बिहार से हैं हाँ बिहार में कहाँ से हाँ सीतामढ़ी से सीतामढ़ी या अब जैसे कि सभी लोग जैसे हम सबसे पहले जैसे कि हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी ने बस अरेंज किया हमारे हॉस्टल से बॉर्डर तक रोमानिया बॉर्डर तक उसके बाद फिर रोमानिया बॉर्डर पे वो बस चेंज हुआ फिर वहाँ से फिर डॉक्यूमेंट वेरिफिकेशन पासपोर्ट वगैरह चेक हुआ उसके बाद फिर हम लोग को जैसे एयरपोर्ट पे डाला फिर उसके बाद एयरपोर्ट पे लगभग एक आधा एक घंटा के बाद लगभग अप्रॉक्स हाफ एंड वन आवर उसके बाद फिर हम लोग का फ्लाइट थी फिर हम लोग फ्लाइट पर बढ़े और उसके बाद फिर बाकी आपका नाम क्या है अभिषेक राज अभिषेक एक बात बताइए आप बिहार में सीतामढ़ी से सीतामढ़ी नेपाल की सीमा से सटा हुआ है तो आप सीमावर्ती क्षेत्र में रहते हैं जब आप वहाँ यूक्रेन में थे तो वहाँ पे आप किस जगह पर थे और वहाँ पे जो चीजें अनफोल्ड हो रही थी जैसे कि उसमें आ, हम लोग तो चैनवीटसी में थे ओके तो चैनवीटसी में अभी ऐसा कुछ नहीं था वो कैपिटल जो कीव है वहाँ पे ऐसा मतलब अभी ज्यादा सिचुएशन तो शांति है जो हाँ, अस्थिरता है बट हमारे चैनवीटसी में अभी पूरा सेफ था उस आ, अभी कुछ हुआ मतलब कुछ नहीं हुआ था मतलब तो इससे पहले ही हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी मतलब सारा अरेंजमेंट करके हम लोग को ऐसे आप बिहार अब मुंबई आप आ चुके हैं यहाँ पे आके आपने सबसे पहला काम क्या किया क्योंकि आप व्हाट्सएप खोले हाँ सबसे पहले घर वाले को कॉल किए सबसे पहले घर वाले को कॉल किए और बताया कैसा रिएक्शन रहा उनको भाई लोगों को तो वैसे आप परेशान थे वहाँ पे जब आप वहाँ पे दिक्कत थे क्योंकि हाँ तो जैसे हम लोग तो टिकट ले भी लिए हुए थे मतलब बट एक दो दिन बाद था उस टिकट का तो उससे पहले तो ऐसा हो गया तो फिर हम लोग ऐसे आप कॉन्फिडेंट थे कि सिचुएशन जो है हम लोग कॉन्फिडेंट है हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी पे भरोसा था कि वो कुछ ना कुछ करेगा और एम्बेसी और एम्बेसी पे भी तो वो तो दोनों मिल के पहले तो अरेंज में बस वगैरह किया वो यूनिवर्सिटी वाले उसके बाद इंडियन एम्बेसी तो हेल्प किया ही यहाँ पे आने के बाद आपका कोविड टेस्टिंग वगैरह कुछ हुआ है ये वैसे प्रोसेस है वहाँ थर्मल स्कैनिंग वगैरह हुआ है थर्मल स्कैनिंग वगैरह उन्होंने किया है आपने पूरा डोज वगैरह ले लिए हाँ मेरा दोनों वैक्सीन अभी आप यहाँ से फिर कहाँ जाने वाले हैं वापस अभी अब पता नहीं मेरे को खुद नहीं पता यहाँ के बाद क्या है रेंजमेंट है कैसे है कोऑर्डिनेशन उस तरफ से होगा आपका नाम क्या बताएं अभी सेक राज सो योगेश शीतला कोरोस्पोंडेंट yeah Tanvi yes sir you have Please. just heard all the experiences shared by these yeah, Indian students all in all the general uh, sense am I getting that, that is uh, th so that is that of a uh, complete uh, comfortable and safe person. journey back home yeah. so we'll um, come back to your you yeah. as he as speaks uh, the first hand account of these students 
चलिए वी विल कम बैक टू योगेश शीतल इन जस्ट अ बेट एज ही टॉक्स टू मोर एंड मोर स्टूडेंट्स टू गेट अ सेंस ऑफ एक्यूरेट अकाउंट ऑफ द सिचुएशन इन इन यूक्रेन नाउ मीन वाइल रशियन एम्बेसी इन इन इंडिया रशियन एम्बेसी इन अ ट्वीट हैज सेड एंड आई कोट हाईली अप्रिशिएट इंडिया इज इंडिपेंडेंट एंड बैलेंस्ड पोजिशन at the voting in UNSC on February 20, 25, 2022 in the spirit of the special and privileged strategic partnership Russia is committed to maintain close dialogue with India on the situation around Ukraine so that is the tweet coming from the Russian embassy in India once again I'll read it for our viewers highly appreciate India's independent and balanced position at the voting in the UNSC on February 25 2022 in the spirit of the special and privileged strategic partnership Russia is committed to maintain close dialogue with India on the situation around Ukraine now uh, this is uh, the latest we have on the russia ukraine uh, crisis russian embassy in india says highly appreciate india's independent and balanced position at the voting in the unsc on february 25 2022 now to get perspective on this latest uh, that we are tracking we are joined by our, our colleague ramesh ramachandran ramesh uh, this uh, tweet coming out now which is actually appreciating india's stand at the unsc abstaining from the vote what do you make of it Indeed, Tanvi, uh, this uh, tweet put out by the Russian embassy in New Delhi is uh, very significant. Uh, and if just to uh, quote the operative part from that tweet again, as we flash it on our screens, it says, "In the spirit of the special and privileged strategic partnership, Russia is committed to maintain close dialogue with India." on the situation around ukraine and that to my mind is significant and just uh, for the benefit of our viewers who uh, might not be following this piece of news mm. over the last several hours uh, the to put it into context for our viewers yes. uh, this statement refers to the un security council meeting that took place in new york several hours ago in which uh, russia being a veto holding member of the un security council vetoed a draft resolution moved and piloted by the us on the situation in ukraine uh, but in the vote in the un security council 11 countries voted for the resolution three abstained and like i said russia the only country to vote against it and veto it uh, india china and the united arab emirates were the three countries that abstained and india in its explanation of vote Hmm. which is uh, a statement read out by the Indian ambassador to the UN in New York after the vote is cast to explain a country's position India is saying in a statement that India while uh, is uh, deeply disturbed by what is happening on the ground in Ukraine uh, and calling for cessation of hostilities uh, India also calling for all parties concerned to honor international law and just to add here India's consistent position has been throughout this conflict then we that the legitimate security interests of all parties concerned must be taken into consideration and that there is still scope for dialogue to be and uh, and peace to be given a chance india appealing all parties concerned to actually uh, cease hostilities and come to the dialogue table and just a quick point again uh, uh, this has been welcomed by russia hmm. and that's exactly what the russian embassy has put out in that tweet here Yes and earlier in the day uh, Ramesh uh, could you also throw some light on uh, when uh, India chose to abstain uh, from the resolution US uh, has also given uh, its uh, response to this Indeed so uh, there's been uh, some talk uh, you know about uh, India's abstention but India uh, like I said this has been India's consist- consistent position mature measured reaction all these uh, past few days and weeks that dialogue can and should be given a chance and that's been welcomed by russia and other countries uh, india for one has been uh, has close ties with all parties concerned in this case russia on the one hand ukraine and its allies on the other and india uh, you know if, if speaking to officials here the sense one gets is that uh, 
this was important because india since india has close ties with all parties concerned unlike say the west which has uh, which is not had does not have good ties with russia in this case india can if it comes to it talk to all parties concerned in a bid to uh, bring about a mutually satisfactory resolution of this conflict so that is how exactly how it panned out we've seen india uh, you know talk to multiple players multiple uh, leaders over the past 24 hours uh, including at the highest level we've seen prime minister modi speak to president vladimir putin of russia uh, he has also spoken just a few hours ago to president volodymyr zelensky of ukraine and right. in those two conversations india again reiterating its consistent position that hostilities must cease and that peace must be given a chance yes peace must be given a chance uh, thank you ramesh ramachandran for joining us at the moment so the latest that we are tracking at this hour that air india special flight ai 1941 uh, which uh, started from romania has landed in mumbai with 219 first batch of indian students uh, who were stranded in ukraine uh, we'll continue to track the next flight which is supposed to land in new delhi later uh, in the night and we'll keep you abreast with the latest news night follows next stay with us